For God's sake, Victor! Of course, it's a trap! If I was Guba, I'd be ashamed of something so obvious. We must negotiate. There's too much at stake. Guba's not going to waste this chance, even if you showed ten white flags. Trust me. I'll come up with something. Papa Bear, this is Eagle One. We're moving out. Wish us luck. Out. Пошли! Пошли! До не из ударной группы! Убирайтесь к черту! Остальные подтягиваемся! Подтягиваемся! Есть, товарищ полковник! Второй взвод! Марш! Давыдов, ты что там копаешься? Ну-ка встать в строй! Без приказа не стрелять. А когда прикажу, не промахнись. Цель в радиусе поражения. Доложите ситуацию. Взял на прицел. Жду приказаний. Прием. Позицию не менять. Конец связи. Сто метров. Я его возьму, товарищ капитан. Семенов, ждать приказа. Конец связи. Огонь! Товарищ капитан! Мать твою, огонь! Нет! Враг... That morning, when it all began, was cold and dark, a sign of the dark times ahead. Okay, I'm coming. You ready? I can only take you as far as Petrovich. That won't be a problem. Peter should have fixed my motorcycle. And if not, <laughs> I can always take a bus.
come around this afternoon if the RTV is going crazy again. Don't think so. I'll be staying late in the office. Maybe tomorrow, but I can't promise anything. Well, okay, but I really need it by Saturday. I've got to see that hockey match. Hey, hold on! Stop for a minute, will you? Hey, Liz! How are you doing? Can I get you anything in town? Hi, Vicky. No, I'm okay, but thanks. I'll be in the office today, so if you change your mind, just call me. Thanks. Okay, take care. See you later. How long has it been now, Victor? Two years? She's still got that look about her. Two years, and she can't let him go. Damn it. I could have saved him. Adam's death wasn't your fault, Victor. It wasn't anybody's fault. Take care, Tom. And thanks.
Can't you go any faster? I can't be late, you know. Calm down, please. We're dead on schedule. And I can't push this heap any harder or it might fall apart entirely. And then we would never get anywhere. Keep it down a moment, would you? This could be important. Citizens, today, August 21st, the National Coalition has finally collapsed. Vice Premier Ostrovsky of the Nogova Communist Party has resigned and asked the entire government to follow his lead. He claimed that representatives of the Socialist Reform Party were trying to establish a capitalist regime of corruption and unemployment and urged revision and rejection of the last three years' economic reform. All communist ministers followed the Vice Premier's example and left the government. They also requested the resignation of pro-reform President Novak, former Vice Premier Ostrovsky, and three other leading members of Nogovo and the Communist Party then went to Moscow to meet with the General Secretary of the Soviet Communist Party, Leonid Brezhnev. The purpose of their trip remains unknown. We'll keep you posted with the latest news. Stay with us. What the hell's going on up there? Maybe things aren't as bad as they make out. But why have they gone to Moscow? It doesn't sound right. Remember what happened 30 years ago. Hey, Mr. Troska, you know anything about this? I'm sorry, I don't. I really didn't expect this. I guess we'll find out more soon enough. All change, please. Good morning, how are you today? Terrible weather, isn't it? Have I any letters? Yes, you have everything on your desk. Thanks. What would I do without you? Hey, Liz, it's me. Yep, fine. I had a little time, so I rang you. Definitely. Yes, that should be fine. The day after tomorrow, then. Take care. Me too. Some of you already know, a contingent of Soviet troops has entered our country. Please hold on for a message from President Novak. Dear fellow citizens, our country is at a crossroads. The Communist Party leaders have turned their backs on our constitution and all the principles of our democracy. They have betrayed our nation to the Communist leaders of the Soviet Union. A large number of Soviet troops from Kuglijev have landed on our island. We can't stop them. Our militia forces are ineffective. Accordingly, I have ordered all our units to surrender and lay down their weapons. 
I ask you all not to provoke the Soviet soldiers to avoid unnecessary violence. Return to your homes and for your own security to remain there. We have requested the international community to take action against this occupation, this act of unprecedented aggression against our sovereign state. Dear fellow citizens, help each other in this testing time for our nation. The truth will win out. I felt dizzy. I hadn't expected this. Not now. Not here. Not after everything else. Comrades from Moldova Republic, we are not your enemies. We are here to help you establish a new socialist order. Remain calm. Return to your houses and cooperate with our troops. Be sure to follow our instructions and all will be well. A curfew will be established in all towns and villages. Our troops may need to use some of your properties to support our mission. We urge you not to resist, or we cannot guarantee your safety. Supported by a couple of cowards desperate for the absolute power and control they enjoyed under the old regime, the Soviets thought it would be easy, quick, clean. They didn't expect resistance, but the people of Nagova were willing to take up arms in equally righteous desperation. The army was supposed to dissolve itself. However, many soldiers held fast and fought against the invasion with all the spirit and courage they could muster. But courage was not enough. People were dying all around me, and I was sitting quietly in my living room, not fighting, just thinking. I returned home to this island in search of peace after so much fight and so much bloodshed. I tried to hide, but war had found me once again. Oh my god. We don't have a chance. With all respect, Gabe, don't we need someone with more combat experience in command? 
This is a massacre! You think I don't know that? There's only one man who could lead us, but... I don't think he will. Hey, who's there? Come on out. It's me, Mr. Troska. Keep quiet, please. Gabriel, what are you doing here? <laughs> what the hell are you wearing? We came to you... We want to ask you something. We'd better go inside. They didn't know what to say. Then they started to talk. And it was like running a film from my past. A past I wanted to forget forever. Gabe, you're talking about starting a war. There's no way you're equipped to take on these guys. You're right. A war. But what else can we do? Watch them steal our country. We must fight. And if we're to win, then everyone must fight with us. Everyone. You want me to join you? We want you to help us. You're a fighter. You've been in war before, haven't you? More than once. And that's why I can't stand anymore. Do you have any idea what this means? A war? Do you know how many people will suffer? Didn't you hear the President? This will only lead to unnecessary bloodshed. The President has been executed. You see? You can't win! They have tanks! And you've got... what? Determination. Hold on, Victor. That's why we're here. You fought against the Soviets. You know how to deal with them. Maybe we're not going to win, but at least we can make a stand. You have no idea what you're saying. No idea what damage you're about to do. If you don't lay down your weapons immediately, the Soviets will just fight harder and harder against us. They'll start on innocent people burning and murdering. And you have nothing but a few foolish men. You don't have training, weapons, anything. That's why we've come to you. For help. No. I can't. I won't. You're not going to help us? Put down your weapons and go back to your wives and kids. Stop playing soldiers. And keep your families alive. Something in me was stirring against my words. As the young men left, I gazed after them. I was different to them. I knew the truth of war. But I also knew that a couple of years earlier, I would have been the first one of all to reach for a gun and fight. Next morning, the sky was grey. Sleep had failed to clear my head. Although I was sure I'd done the right thing the night before, I felt a rat. A traitor. Good morning, Camaradas. Listen our morning news. Leader of friendly Soviet army helped Nogovo live in peace and prosperity. Colonel Alexei Vasilievich Guba meet today with new President Ostrovsky and his colleagues. Meeting take place in friend and peace atmosphere. Tavarish Ostrovsky, a great name new socialist government within week. He agreed that new election are take place before end of the year. Comrade Guba informed Comrade Ostrovsky, Soviet army has total control of situation, has already defeated some attempts by terrorist group to violate the place and friendship between Nogovo and Soviet Soyuz. Comrade Ostrovsky thanked Comrade Guba and said he had already asked Western governments to stop support illegal groups in Nogovo that are... Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? One, two, three... Uh, yes. Uh, I think you can hear me now. This is... This is... Tasmanian Devil. Good afternoon, everyone. Don't worry about who I am. Just listen, because I'm here to give you the truth. Uh, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep going before some coward stops me, but you need to know they're feeding you lies. 
The resistance movement is getting stronger and stronger as I speak. The occupation forces must leave our island. Our only hope is to fight. Join the resistance now. You know where to go. This is a call for help. This is a, a call for hope. Leave our island. And said he had already asked to bless from... Peter, have you been listening? Who is he, that Tampanian devil? Tasmanian. Tom, Tasmanian. I have no idea, but he's playing a dangerous game. He's talking about that forest, isn't he? That's why they're based, the resistance. We should go, right? Show me the map. It's somewhere around D2, I think. I guess we have to go. We can't just leave things as they are. Victor, should I go for the car? We can get some guns Hold and... on a minute. You have a family, don't you? So maybe you... Who's that running this way? Anton, from Dolina. Anton, what's happened to you? <laughs> we tried. We attacked a Soviet convoy, but they... they we were sitting ducks... What? Soviets? Did they follow you? No, I think they... I, I think I... Damn. Okay. We can't give in to them. But you can't stay here either. Why not? Hide him here in your house and the Soviets won't find him. That's madness! Soviets! The Russians are coming. Anton, hide in the tool shed. Quickly. No. He can't stay here. Come on, Victor. We don't have time. Speak! We know the person is somewhere here. He was running this way. You help us, or we punish you. So what? You speak or not? Смирно, товарищ полковник. Мы ищем повстанца. Мы точно знаем, что он прячется где-то здесь, но местные жители отказываются сотрудничать. Больно. What's this? You don't want to cooperate with us? Surely you understand that by helping a criminal you're becoming criminals yourselves? Where is he? This is your last chance. I'm sorry, Colonel, sir, but we didn't see anybody. We're not rebels, we just live here. As you wish. Corporal, you've seen how this man has tried to attack me? He's dangerous, a lunatic. And a rebel, for sure. Kill him. Товарищ полковник, я... Corporal, show some imagination, please. For God's sake, stop this. You can't... Of course I can, you idiot. Corporal, execute one of them every minute. That's an order. And you? One more word, and you'll be the first to die. People were dying in front of my home. I knew I had a shotgun hidden behind the house, but what could I do with it? The choice. Standing in line, waiting for the bullet. I had only two options. Reveal where the rebel was hiding, or somehow break out of line, grab the shotgun, and stop the bloodshed.
Hold your fire. I've seen him. He's here. He's hiding in the shed. Very good, a wise choice. Now, you must come with us. We would like to show our gratitude. And a man of your qualities. We have a job Stop. for you. Wait here. Colonel Guba wants to meet you personally. So this is our good citizen, huh? What's your name, comrade? Victor Trotska, sir! Well, comrade Troska, I'm glad you choose the right side. It is pleasing to see that some people on this island still have some respect for authority. Very good. What have I done? We're not done with you yet, Troska. Return to your friends. <laughs> Locate their base and give us the coordinates. We will do the rest. Now go! Hey, I didn't expect to see you here. I thought the Soviets got you. They did, but I got away. Look, I have to hide somewhere. Have you any idea where I could find the others? Y yes of course. Well, I can't help you myself, but Marek is in the last house at the northern end of town. I think he knows something.
Marek, the Russians are looking for me. Please, I've got to reach the resistance. They... Okay, try looking in Markovsky. They have a contact over there who give you directions. Ah, you found me. That's great. You're going to join us in our struggle? That's right. I'm trying to get to your main camp. Sure. Take the road to the east and turn left at both junctions. The camp is at map reference FG22. Be careful you're not followed. Don't worry.
So you made it? I made it. My name's Geronimo. Gabriel is... He's dead. I... I don't know who's going to lead us now. We need you. Maybe... You and me, we could run this thing together. Yes, of course. Red Bear, this is Ratcatcher. I found them. They're at FG-22. Repeat, FG-22. Over. Excellent. The colonel will be pleased. Out. What have I done? Třetí. Jak jsi na tom? Отлично, товарищ Турошка! Отличная работа! Основные силы повстанцев разбиты! Остров наш! Расстреляйте террористов! Эй, вы все! К стенке! К стенке! Всех террористов! Don't forget, комрад Трошка! Под... Товарищ, товарищ полковник, он еще может нам пригодиться! Нет, я ему не верю. Он предал своих ближайших друзей. Как вы думаете, что он может сделать с нами? Расстрелять. Есть, товарищ полковник. И ты с ними. Пошел. На прицел. Огонь. Хорошо. 